Thanks. In this video, I'd like to show how to calculate the density of aluminum. And then this is kind of like a sponge, but basically the aluminum of a cube. And I'm going to use a ruler instead of a graduated cylinder. So first, the formula for density is mass divided by volume. And to get the volume of a cube, I multiplied length times width times height. I went ahead and measured uh, one side, since this is a cube, they are all equal, and that was 2.5. And I measured it in centimeters, so that's 2.5 times 2.5 times 2.5, and that equals 15.625 centimeters cubed. The volume is cubed. Then I calculated the mass just by putting it on the scale, and it came to 44 grams. So to calculate the density, it is 44 grams divided by 15.625 centimeters cubed, and that gave me a density of 2.816 grams per centimeters cubed. Okay, now let's calculate the density of this little foam. And I measured it earlier. It's a little bit smaller than the aluminum cube. It was 2.4 centimeters. So I'm going to take 2.4 times 2.4 times 2.4. And this is my, I don't know, I don't know what the, where that came from. And so my volume will be 2.4 times 2.4 times 2.4. So that is 2.4 times 2.4 times 2.4. And that equals 13.824. And that will be centimeters cubed. Now I need to get the mass. And so I'm going to place this on for the mass. And it looks like it is 1 gram. So mass is 1 gram. So I take mass divided by volume. I take... 1 gram divided by 13.824, and that will equal, we'll use our calculator, 1 divided by 13.824, and that will equal 0 0.0723 grams per centimeters cubed. So as you can tell, the aluminum is a little bit heavier. It has a density of 2.816, and then this foam only has a density of 0 0.0723. And we know that since this density is less than 1, it's going to float, and the aluminum will sink. Okay, so... So I have some water set up, so let's see if my calculating calculations are correct. Here is the density less than 1, and it floats, and here is the density of 2.0 greater than 1, and it sinks quickly. So I hope that helps in calculating density. Thanks for watching, and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.